Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In this uh, part of this tutorial, we will discuss uh, the difference between the shell development drawing faces the uh, 3D PDF and how we can easily export our 3D model in a 3D PDF and how we can deal with the 3D PDF and measure the dimensions uh, from it. Okay, here, as you can see, uh, here that's the shell development for the uh, shell blades and here the development for the skirt and as you know on the skirt for the rings you have uh, different uh, diameters it's not the same diameter of the uh, of the uh, skirt and here the uh, bottom head and top head uh, with longitudinal welding lines and the nozzle locations now, uh, in, uh, in the Autodesk Inventor, uh, by the help of SCG software, we generate the uh, 3D model for this equipment, including all uh, attachments that we uh, need, as you can see. And if you would like to check if you have any clashes or something like that, easily you can uh, go uh, and measure the uh, distance between, for example, that line or that point and that line and get the value directly and you can send a 3d pdf for your client and if you would like to uh, add any comments or something like that you can do that like here you have uh, this rebed and this opening over this uh, circumference welding line so you would like to indicate that in your uh, 3d pdf how we can do that and how we can export and deal with the 3d pdf in this tutorial we will learn inshallah how to do that here from the 3d model you will open the file tab and from export you will select the 3d pdf and from here you can select the quality the low quality is is, uh, is enough you will not need to make it uh, medium or high so let's keep it uh, low and from here select the location of the exported file so you can uh, name it so we can give it a name like 3d pdf model for this equipment for hev 000110 okay and click on save now from publish we can start publishing uh, the uh, 3d model before this step we can do something important so let's take this uh, uh, a copy from this and cancel right now so we can make some views here from the uh, representations we have the default view if you double click on it and you can see here so we need to remove all the uh, ucs points and let's make it uh, not a perspective view select uh, orthographic view and Let's keep that as a, a default view. Now let's add another view like a top view. Like that and adjust the view to be from the top. So that's the top view. Let's add another view like back view. Okay, so that's the back view. Let's add another one as a bottom view. And let's take a look from the bottom. Okay. And make the orientation like that. And another view from the left view. So let's take a look from the left so that's the left view another view from the right view and now i think we have the all views let's add one more one which is the isometric view okay and make it looks like that and one for the david And make this view is close like that for the David. So now we have some views stored 
here some for one of them for default one for top pack so and another one for that now when you try to export the 3d pdf file like that let's change the location and the name of the file and click on save and from here let's click on publish as you can see here you have those views that you select which is default view top view and all of the other views and from here you will click on publish and autodesk inventor tool uh, which creating the 3d pdf will create the 3d pdf file for this equipment we will wait until uh, exporting the file and we will know how we deal with the 3d pdf okay now we have the 3d pdf file after creating on seg software by using the lift uh, button on the mouse and by drag and move, you can rotate the equipment like that. And by the uh, ruler on, uh, on the mouse, you can zoom in or zoom out like that. And if you click the right button and the uh, left button on the mouse, that will give you the option for banning. Both of them drag and move of the right and left click, both of them drag and move, so you can uh, ban the 3d model you can get those options from here rotate spin ban zoom all of that you can get it from here okay so here that's the default view and from here down you can move between the uh, views by getting the uh, dev view and if it's not appear from uh, from here some uh, graphic cards uh, not give you the ability to select that so you can select it from this drop down list so you can select it from that side if that bottom bar not appears so you can select it from here the lift view or the david view like that and you can use some other tools like measurement tool so if you would like to measure some dimensions so let's uh, let's make a band like that as we discuss making a band by double clicking on the right and lift the buttons on the mouse on the same time so from here you can measure the distance so if you would like to measure the distance from here to there it's like that 310 and you can see you will get a tool here give you the ability if you would like to to uh, measure a radius or an angle or perpendicular angle many options you can find them here and if you would like to add a 3d comment you can add a 3d comment like if you have a clash or something like that you can add a comment here like that like near uh, area okay something like that so by that way you can get uh, a 3d comment for your client so he can figure out what you would like to say and actually he can measure everything from uh, this view okay so by using this technique you will be able to replace the sheet metal development or the shell development uh, drawing by using the 3D uh, BDF. I hope in uh, this tutorial, I give you a good uh, indication about the, uh, the 3D BDF comparing with the uh, traditional way of getting the clashes by making the uh, shell uh, development uh, drawing. And uh, inshallah, we will continue with another uh, part of, uh, of tutorial to show you how to prepare the fabrication drawings for this equipment. Have a nice day. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa